Okay, a quick video to go through using the quadratic formula. First of all, we have to be able to remember that what a, b and c are. They are the numbers associated with x squared, x, and just no, um, no x term at all, just the minus 15 thing at the end. So, we are given the formula on the formula booklet, so we don't need to remember that. First thing you do is identify a, b, and c really clearly from the equation that you have been given. You must get the negative. If you miss the negative, there's a good chance you'll get no marks for this. So minus 3 and minus 15, really important that you get those negative numbers. Next, we are just going to substitute our values of a, b, and c into this formula. Negatives are the problem, and the use of brackets around your terms is really important. Again, if you make one mistake here, not acknowledging you've got a negative number, you will lose loads of marks. So it's really, really important that you take your careful time about this. Here you can see A, B, and C have been meticulously substituted in. I want your calculator to look exactly like this, with one exception you're only going to have an add in this position here. When it's add and you press equals and SD, it comes out as 3.59. When you go back and you use your scrolling buttons on your calculator, change this to a negative. The whole idea of it being plus or minus is it gives us two values for X. One for when it's positive and one for when it's negative. Those are the two solutions to the equation at the top of the page. The last thing I want to mention is that the equation was set equal to zero and you will need to do this first if it's not already been done for you. Okay, here's a question you can practice for yourself. Um, here's the equation. Pause it as soon as it's written out and see if you can get the exact answers which will be on as you unpause the video. Okay, so similar to the previous example, we start by identifying A, B, and C. If you don't write them down clearly, there's a good chance you'll make a mistake. So make this a big step for you, identifying A, B, and C, and writing that down. So A is the number 5, B is minus 4, and C is negative 10. If we substitute those into our formula, it's minus 4, but a negative outside. Make sure you're using brackets. Minus 4 squared. It's different to without the brackets. You will just get the wrong answer without the brackets, and you'll get almost no marks. Now, what I do is I get my calculator out, and I make it exactly look like what's written at the bottom of the screen. I change that to just a plus to begin with to get 3 point zero seven rounded and I change it to a negative after that and it gives me zero point one three rounded to three significant figures. I hope you got that right. Um, get on uh, to do a couple of examples before you move on.